my 12-year-old grandson and my nine-and-a-half-year-old granddaughter. I said, well, what the Congress just did was put you, your children, and your for more money than you're ever going to be able to pay off. And my nine-and-a-half-year-old granddaughter, Rana, said to me, Grandma, why do you want to put little children into debt? And I said, Rana, I don't. That's why I voted no. That's why most Republicans voted no. We understand what's happening here, and we don't want to do this. But what is about to occur here is even worse than what happened last fall, even worse than what happened with the stimulus. But these people are going headlong in because they don't want to take the responsibility to do what needs to be done now, trim spending, make tough decisions. Somebody said the other day, we're pretty soon going to be like Argentina because the Federal Reserve is printing dollars, trying to get the economy stimulated. The government spending, spending, spending. We're pretty soon going to go into a situation where we're going to look like a third world country. I don't think that's what most Americans want. Most Americans love this country. They want us to continue to be the greatest country in the world and they want us to continue to be successful in what we do. They want us to leave a country that is good and economically, physically healthy to our children and our grandchildren and to our posterity. That's not the direction the Democrats are taking us.